I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to draw a lovely Spinosaurus. So grab your favorite mark making mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> Okay, we're going to begin our dinosaur by drawing the front of its head. So we're going to draw the head on this side, tail over here. We're going to start right at the edge, near the edge of our paper so we have enough room. We're going to draw a little line up over for the snout, up, around, and down for the head. Bring this line in for the mouth. Add a little V shape for the corner of its mouth. Use your zigzag lines to add some teeth. And you can add your dinosaur's eye. Coloring it in mostly black, but just leaving a little white dot for the glare of light. All right, bring it down. Now we're gonna do a little curve up. Down and up for a tail. All right, on the back, we're going to do the back legs. We're gonna draw the letter C. Down for the leg. Add some dinosaur toes. Back up. Now we're gonna draw the tail. So we're gonna do one thin line and one bottom line. So we have just the bottom, that's just going to be where the different colors are. Next, we're going to do the nice dinosaur arm. So we're going to draw the letter L, a backwards letter L. Two long claws. Give it a knobbly elbow. And back up. Next, we're going to draw the bottom of the mouth. Curve it up for the jaw. From the head, we're gonna draw a belly and it's gonna come and collect, connect with that bottom line. So your dinosaur has a nice big belly. And then we're gonna imagine this line continues through. Start it on this side. Sweep it up, connect with the jaw. Perfect. Now we're gonna give our dinosaur some tall spikes. Draw a line up to the front and back spike. And in between, we're going to draw wide curving lines or wide letter U's, just like that. Next, we're going to draw the back leg and remember, it'll be slightly smaller because it's in the distance and same with the front claw. Lovely. And to finish off our lovely dinosaur, you can add a few rocks. Three long stems. Draw one leaf on the end of each stem. And then curving or bunny hop lines down it to create a fern. Oh, 
All right, now we can grab our coloring mediums and we're gonna get colored coloring on our dinosaur. So I'm going to grab, ooh, I don't know what color I want to use. I'll start with the belly because I'm not really sure what color to use for the dinosaur yet, what color I want to use. So I'm going to first color the belly yellow. I'm gonna color the head and body with an orange. I'm also gonna use that same skin color to color in the spikes on the back. And then I'll grab my yellow again and we're gonna color in between. Going to grab a gray and I'll use that gray to color in the rocks and I'll use it for shading and you can use gray wax crayon, you can use a pencil crayon, oil pastel, whatever you have.
I'll grab a green, a nice fern color green to color in my plants. And I'll leave a little bit of white on the leaves for some highlights. finish off our dinosaur we can grab a white pencil crayon or a white wax crayon up to you on what you want to use and we're going to use it for shading our dinosaur so you can grab your white and anywhere there would be highlights you can use it to shade and if you're using oil pastel and you want it to be smooth you can always smooth it with your finger Wonderful. And once you're done adding all your lovely highlights, your beautiful dinosaur is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.